The active ingredients in many drugs are carefully synthesized organic molecules that are present in only very small quantities. Pepto-Bismol, however, is an exception. There are 262 milligrams of its active ingredient, bismuth subsalicylate, in each tablet. 57.7% of this weight is bismuth, meaning that each tablet contains roughly 151 milligrams of bismuth metal. In this video, I will extract the bismuth from those tablets. The remainder of this experiment was performed under a fume hood for safety. I added 100 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid, a little bit at a time. After adding a little bit, I would stir, and then I would stop periodically to let some of the foam die down. After that, I filtered the mixture to remove any residue. Left in the filtrate was aqueous bismuth chloride. I would like to note that the filtrate is usually pink. In this case, it was yellow, though I was still able to extract the bismuth. I transferred the filtrate to another beaker. I added aluminum to the mixture to form aqueous aluminum chloride and precipitate the bismuth metal. There was some foaming as well as the aluminum reacted with the acidic mixture. The black precipitate you see forming is the bismuth metal. One more filtration step, though this time the bismuth is in the residue instead of the filtrates. After everything is done, you're left with this black sludge, which, when dried, gives you bismuth powder. 